Hello, my name is Christian Walter from Trade Voter, and we got a lot of requests how to um, change uh, the exchange where your order will be filled or how to see um, in how many different exchanges you can um, um, trade this symbol or to trade this company. Um, to start with one example, I would like to uh, show you this here on the Trader Workstation with Facebook. So I just go to uh, the chart application type name of Facebook and then normally you get exactly this window what we will see here on the screen. Here it's pretty easy because um, just select all the products you want to see. We only want to see stocks for example and we have yeah, the most well-known Nasdaq. We can trade this as well at the Mexican market but uh, we also have it here on IBIS what is um, the German market or I think there's another one for the Swiss or the UK market, but you can see it in, in brackets. You can um, always see the exchange itself. So the easiest way is to type the full name, not the symbol, um, because then you can see all the different um, symbols um, with the different exchanges where you can trade the stock. That's the beginning and the first important fact when you want to see um, on how many different markets um, this company is um, able to trade. Um, and then the next thing, if you decide, for example, to place an order on NASDAQ, it's important here to know that there's normally a smart routing. If I show you, or if you have a look, for example, this is um, the order entry window here, um, where you can place buy or sell position, but buy or sell order uh, with a limit price or a market uh, um, order, then there's one important thing what you have next to um, the duration. It's advanced. Advanced, normally nobody will check it because um, you might think it's not really important. But in this case, advanced gives you the opportunity to select the destination, the destination of your order you have here destination smart. So what does it mean? At the end, every order you um, place at the market is um, normally by default a smart routing order. But here you can select the different exchanges. Um, so for example, if we go here, we can see all different exchanges or ECNs, um, how they are called in the US where you can place your order and what, does make, uh, or what is the difference uh, to a, a smart routing. If you check your order fees, you have normally a commission, what you pay for every stock or option position or um, order. And on top of this, normally there are small exchange fees. Some uh, exchanges, for example, even give you money uh, if you place an order. That's also a very interesting part because if you add liquidity to the market, you can get a, a one cent or two cent per order, but it's important to know which exchanges uh, are doing this because if you are a long-term investor and you just want to place maybe a, uh, an order and keep this position, um, you can select here these different ECNs and every ECN is having a own exchange fee, uh, how is it called, and especially for stocks or options, some um, uh, exchanges might um, yeah, give you or refund you a small amount for adding liquidity. How do you add liquidity to the market? With a limit order. So if I place a limit order, I add my order to the market. Um, if you remove liquidity, it's called normally market order because if you place a market order, any other or um, some other limit order will be filled and you remove in this moment the uh, liquidity. So especially these are the differences in the exchanges. Um, some will pay you some money and um, there are um, different small fees. We are talking about one or two cents. But it's important to know how to set this up, how you can change this and uh, where you can find these informations. And at the end, these are also available for other um, instruments, not only for stocks, it's the same for options. Um, and also on different markets, um, like in Germany, you can also um, see this smart routing. And if you want to see more videos like this, please uh, follow our channel. I would be happy uh, if you also check the next upcoming videos with more interesting stuff to the Trader Workstation or to other trading topics. Thank you very much.